Hello and welcome to PlayStation Mesa. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today I am answering a question from Ryan Narona and I hope I have pronounced that correctly. He is trying to run the menu book number 26, the Ford collection that we did quite a while ago. Now I didn't actually need to do this race because I bought the wrong truck and he's got a problem with constantly spinning out. So I've decided to revisit this track, which I need to do anyway to complete the game. And I'm going to go through some hints and tips that hopefully might help him. So basically, I went and bought the Ford F-150 SVG Raptor, which then meant that I didn't need to do the dirt race for this particular menu book. I got away with doing that, which is a bit of a cheat. I should have bought the other car. I can't remember what it is right now. Um, but I bought the wrong one. I didn't need to do it. So he's been following through my menu book and wanted to see how I was doing that particular race. And of course, I didn't do that race, so he hasn't been able to see it. And that's what this video is about. So I'm going to run through how I got gold, oh, got first place. And this is going to be warts and all, even my mistakes. And then I'll have a replay at the end that I'll probably talk over as well. And then I'm going to do a second video which I actually get a clean race applying what I learned in this race. So we're heading across to America, across to uh, this pickup truck race, which is being held at Colorado Springs. We need to pick up our Raptor and immediately we've got an issue with the incorrect tires. But we want to do a bit of tuning on this car anyway. Because I'm running on the hard AI settings, I just need to tweak the car a little bit to get me a little bit of an advantage. So the first thing I'm going to do is to grab the weight reduction stage one. I'm going to do all the stages uh, and we'll also need to grab the dirt tires and I'm also going to do a few other little bits and pieces. So we'll grab the dirt tires, obviously very important. It's a mandatory requirement on this particular race. We'll do the stage three and uh, we can't use stage four uh, but i am going to grab the racing clutch the brake pads and there's no rhyme or reason to these parts that i'm buying uh, a lot of people will say well you know that wasn't any use and that wasn't any use or that was good and that wasn't good i'm not that technical i just enjoy the game i'm an average racer and this is just what i do and if some of this helps you to get uh, that the menu book completed, then that's all the better. This is just proving that I am actually running on hard. And you'll also be able to watch the mileage on the car just to show that there aren't any smoking mirrors. So once we've tuned our car up, we'll head back over to the world circuits across to America. We then need to go to Colorado Springs and pick up the, uh, oh, that's actually work, pick up the pickup truck race. Just check the settings to make sure we've got our dirt tyres on. The other settings are pretty much left alone, uh, but I'm just leaving those on the screen for transparency so that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm using exactly the same settings in the second video that will follow this one where I get that clean race. So we've got three laps in which we need to get third or higher. And no surprise to anybody, I'm actually going for first place and dirt tracks are not my forte. I'm not great on gravel, so uh, very rarely do I actually get a clean race. This one was all about just trying to get into first place. So the first thing, Ryan, you'll notice if you look down on the, the bottom of the screen, well, immediately I've stuck it into the fence. So I'm probably no different to you. Um, got that all wrong, put it into the fence, went for a retry, and in this video, I am going to leave all of my retries in here so you can see exactly how quickly I managed to go first and how I went about it. So this is the next try. Learning from that lesson already that uh, maybe we won't, don't want to go up the inside of that first car. Uh, this time I managed to run smack into the back of it, which again puts me into the fence and I'm not happy about that. So we'll just back out and give that a, another go. Now at this point I'm really getting a feel for the truck and what I was going to say a minute ago is if you look just above the speedometer 
look at how the steering wheel is being thrown around left and right. I'm doing a big input to get the truck sliding and then a big input to counter steer. And the other thing that I tend to do in these races is I try not to accelerate hard until the truck is facing in the right direction. So very often I'm pretty much off the accelerator through quite a few of the corners again, like just hitting the barrier. This is not very clean and tidy at all. Uh, in this race, running on the hard AI, I assumed that I would absolutely need to floor it and throw everything at it to reach the leader, especially as he's 10 seconds down the road at this point. Um, in hindsight, that wasn't the case. If you go ahead and watch the clean race video, you'll see just how much slower and smoother it is. So at that point, I got very unhappy with my performance. I was hitting all of the barriers. So back down the platform again, and we go for yet another run. So I did this a few times. And again, every single time I'm running, I'm learning how the car is feeling, or the truck in this case, but how the vehicle is feeling, how it's sliding, how it's steering, where I need to brake, gears, etc. And the other thing that is interesting to note, especially when you look at the, the clean race, is I actually don't change gear that that much. Um, I think you could probably do most of this race just stuck in third gear, if I'm honest. Uh, so if that's one less thing that you want to worry about, then maybe give that a go. There will be times where you probably will need to drop down, oh, getting into the uh, into the side again there, so we'll go for another retry. Yeah, there might be times where you might want to drop it down into second gear just to get a bit more of momentum. It might be you're maxing out the revs, so just take it up into fourth very briefly. But I, I think I'm right in saying most of the time, I mean, third gear, really Larry through there, decided to put that one up the inside, got a big slide, massive amount of steering correction. Uh, so you might want to slow this video down just to watch the steering inputs in particular. For off-road racing, my take is it's all about balancing the power, getting the car in a straight line before you apply the throttle and the steering just keep on working the back end of the vehicle. In the replay, you will see how much I am sliding the back of this truck around through some of these corners, much, much more than I need to. There will be professionals on here that will say, well, why are you sliding that truck around like that? You don't need to. In the clean race, I don't think I do it quite so much. This one was really just about forcing my way through. You'll also notice that I'm rubbing the doors and bumping a few of these other trucks on the way through. Nearly every single uh, dirt race that I do, uh, I'm always hitting other cars. Very, very rarely do I manage to get away with no contact, uh, especially when the track is this tight. If you sit behind these trucks waiting for a clean overtake, uh, the leaders are just going to go away from you and you're, you're never going to get the desired results. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing and hit the thumb for a like. It would be very, very much appreciated. I'm trying to grow this new channel and uh, my aim is to try and get to a thousand subscribers over the next couple of months. It would be fantastic if you could support me. In the meantime, we're back to the race. So once you are in the sort of approaching these vehicles, you need to be thinking not only about how you're going to get by them, but also thinking ahead at the corners. So one of the main things is to, on this particular track especially, what's coming up, not only the corners, but the jumps, because one of my hot tips for this with the jumps is make sure that you either go over the jump slowly so you don't get too much air. Air is fantastic on the replay, but not fantastic when you're driving. And also to make sure that when you land, your vehicle is in a straight line. Otherwise, it is going to spit you out and you are going to spin. If you find that you are, have taken off slightly wonky, then I tend to line my steering up so that as soon as I hit the ground, I can start to catch the back end as it goes round. So I've almost got a little bit of opposite lock in or a lot of opposite lock 
depending on how bad the launch is. Um, but if you can just keep it a bit slower on the jumps uh, and make sure that it's straight on the jumps, then that's all better. So the more that you know about the track, the more you can manage those characteristics. So at this point, we are on lap number three and we are out in front and I don't know why I think I had a mental block because at this point I thought I was in second and I was chasing down somebody else so I was really going for it really at this point you just want to slow down I'm not as you can see I'm still really really going for it and I do make a mistake I do hit the barrier we spin it round, but we still go on to win this particular race uh, so there's a fine line between trying to build yourself a a cushion to the car behind in the case of a mistake and not making mistakes. My favourite is to obviously have a better closer race and not make mistakes. So you can see here that you know I'm bouncing around between second gear, third gear, occasion fourth. Uh, that one again I was a bit sideways over the jump so the opposite lock in there so that we can get it straight as we landed. Again it's all being prepared and thinking about how the van's going to behave and there we go, round we go. That was where I came off that jump a little bit crooked. I didn't correct it in the air, so when I landed, it spat me around, put me in the barrier, and that was the spin. Thankfully now, Wong behind us is uh, two and a half seconds, going on three seconds behind. So panic does set in a little bit, and we get to the end without making another mistake, and we actually maintain this first position. We've only got to go around this corner, and there we go. There is first place, for this menu book in the Ford Raptor truck. I've gone through all my settings, I've gone through how I run this race, and I haven't edited this at all. You've seen my mistakes, the resets, and how quickly you managed to do that. So probably um, including the tuning and everything around about 12 minutes to complete that race. Now, I am going to leave the replay running for you. Uh, because you'll be able to see the lines that I'm taking. You'll be able to see how the back of the truck is moving around. So you can see there, massive slide, just uh, getting the slide done before the corner. So you're actually turning before you reach the corner, letting the vehicle slide. So as you reach just past the apex of the corner where you can see the track in front of you, ideally you want to be facing that so you can then get the throttle down get the acceleration and be able to drive away from the cars behind you or to try and catch up the cars in front. Again through here, I knew that I needed to get through this traffic so I'm not worrying about banging doors. I'm looking for every single opportunity that I can find to get past vehicles. The main emphasis of this particular race was simply to try and get the menu book challenge done so third or higher. You can see there how bad that jump was. I was crooked as I entered the jump, bad landing, and then it just took an age to settle the truck down. Uh, so this one, as you can see there, caught that little bump. You need to be aware of that on that bit of, of grass, um, but did actually manage to hold that one just because I was aware of where I was going and what was gonna happen to the truck as I landed. You can see here the back of that truck around these corners really moving around. Lots of opposite lock just to keep that back end in check and keep this van with the truck going in the right direction. Doesn't need to be quite so leery. It looks great on the replay, but it doesn't need to be as leery as I'm making it look. Uh, even on hard with the tuning that I've done, you can get through this traffic fairly quickly. And uh, in the, this race, I think we finished uh, about two and a half seconds ahead of second place, which is a comfortable margin. It's not huge, uh, it's comfortable. And uh, a win is a win at the end of the day. So you can see at the moment, oh, in the dust, I couldn't see that particular you know, bump at the side, so that wasn't too clever. Um, I was about to say that at the moment, it's a little bit more settled. Uh, it's not quite so leery as it was. And then immediately I go and uh, 
hit a massive, massive bump. Thankfully, it didn't make too much of a problem. See, on that jump there and that one there, I'm actually keeping it a little bit slower so we're not getting huge air. All the time that the vehicle is in the air, you need to think about you not being in control. That vehicle is going to go wherever it's going until you can get the wheels back on the dirt. Once they're on the dirt, then you can start manipulating the vehicle, where it's going, how it's behaving. So one of the things that I have learnt and my driving style and what I prefer is not to get massive air on these races. Uh, invariably, you get a difficult landing, the car then goes out of control and it can't, invariably you're going to spin it or you're going to hit the, hit the fence. So again, one of my tips is learn the track, know where the bounces and the, the uh, jumps are, and then just slow down a little bit, just ease off the accelerator as you go over the top, get the car or the truck straight, and then just settle it down and you'll be good. One of the other tips I've got for you is, I actually found this truck a little bit difficult to drive. One of the cars that I learnt to drive on dirt was the um, full focus rally car. It's beautiful, you can really get some speed, you can slide it around, it's four wheel drive, it's just awesome, I love it. And I did a lot of dirt runs in that car to teach me how to handle. This is a lot slower, obviously the full focus is a much faster car, that's where I got it wrong. You see, over the jump, got the landing wrong, into the barrier, fortunately we were far enough ahead and we did manage to maintain our position. I was really disappointed at that accident and that spin. The one thing you want to do is to avoid spinning. Uh, that was an example, but also it goes to show that if you can recover from the spin quickly, you can still go on to win this race. Uh, but yeah, give the, give the Focus rally car a go. Um, I learned an awful lot. Uh, you really are going to be working the steering wheel left and right very aggressively you'll be able to steer well before the corner to get a slide through, and I, I learned an awful lot. So there we go. At the end of that, more than I thought, just over three seconds ahead of Wong in second place. But that's how I do that. So Ryan, I hope you found this useful. If you, have, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And watch out for the clean race video that I'm gonna be releasing very, very soon. In the meantime, take care, look after yourself, and thanks for your question. Bye-bye.